Cody being banned on Facebook and all other places. What's going on? Has the Cody movement ended? We'll discuss in this video. What's up everybody? You're in the building with Uncle Mont and we're talking about Cody being banned on social media platforms and we're going to discuss it right now but before we do that Y'all know we got to put on the plus seven glasses of sexy as hell. Work on skilling up this craft, giving you a better informed YouTube opinion, something better to look at. If you follow this channel for money saving, real estate, fitness, go down to the video description and join me on life gains, finances, and fitness. And also if you like any of the gear that I wear, go check out shoplifegains.com. So it has just come out that Cody is now banned from Facebook. And let's just kind of talk about the history of what happened. Last year, Facebook banned items that they deemed as piracy materials, you know, Cody boxes, stream boxes, anything that fell under the umbrella of saying they can get you live TV for a year for a low price and all that kind of stuff. You promoted something that said it was jailbroken or fully loaded. Last year, Facebook started banning that. And one of the reasons why Facebook is taking this current stance, y'all know Facebook has been in hot water for all the stuff going on with Russia, getting caught up in that. So I think Facebook has just decided to finally just drop the hammer on anything that could get them in more trouble. Now here's where the problem comes in. Most of you all know that follow this channel, Cody itself has nothing to do with piracy, nothing. There were people using Cody before third-party add-ons allowed you to get to that type of content. There were people using Cody for the very fact that it is an open source software to do different things in their home, play music, play their local CD drives, play their local things that they had on their computer. It was doing all that before third-party add-ons that gave you access to content hit. So my question to you all, is it fair? Is it fair to Cody to take this kind of hit? Because some people would argue that Cody didn't do enough to run from third party add on providers. I don't know what more they could have done other than not make it an open source add on platform. And why would you do that when people, like I said, people been using it before all this stuff started happening? Or do you guys feel like Facebook is just getting too damn political? Now, Facebook is in a bind because they've got shareholders they got to respect. They want to get out of this hot water they're in with the government and they're trying to do everything they can to save face. So this is just more of an opinion piece. You guys let me know in the comment section below, how do you feel about this situation? Is there anything that can be done about the situation? And are you still using Cody in general? That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment and subscribe. Go get yourself a life game, share my videos. Go follow me on Life Gains channel in the video description for money saving, real estate, finances, and fitness. Go check out shoplifegains.com to see the gear I wear and read my blogs. And until the next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.